So here we have the Mazda 3 on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've had a, a full circle of it, and you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, first of all, you can see uh, the total miles for this car. Uh, they are 64,116. In the middle, we have the rev counter, the digital readout for the speedometer, and on the right-hand side, the trip computer and fuel gauge for the car. Uh, above this section, we have a heads-up display, which displays a digital readout for the speedometer. Onto the steering wheel next, we have cruise control on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, stereo and phone controls. And then over in the center, the main uh, stereo screen, if you like, itself. And this is where, amongst other things, you would pair up your phone. Uh, all the movement I'm making on the screen is being done using this dial and the collection of buttons that surround it. So you can go to the home screen from here. Uh, you can then rotate the dial, so for example, to nav uh, navigation. Push the dial down to enter that menu. And you've got your sat nav there, as you can see. Uh, similarly, our audio options in the car. Uh, there's a number of ways you can listen to music. AM, FM, DAB radio. We've got a couple of Mazda apps just there. Bluetooth audio as well, and a couple of separate USB inputs. If you plug devices into those, you'll be able to access those uh, from that screen, of course. Below that, we have a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings and the same for the passenger side. Dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the driver and passenger temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can turn your air conditioning on and off from here or you can hit auto the car will then take full control to maintain those temperatures for you any manual adjustment will override auto straight away we have our cd player underneath that and the six speed uh, manual gearbox as well all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you'd like to come see the car for yourself and have a test drive please feel free to give us a call here at surrey specialist cars we'd love to hear from you soon